Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I have been a book lover for most of my life. And yet I didn't have a bookshelf until very recently, when I went to a store one day to buy a table and found this beautiful looking shelf standing there as if waiting for me to claim it and take it home. So I bought it and I finally can say that now I am a proper bookish person and that I own a bookshelf. So. I wanted to make a bookshelf tour video to show you what books of mine did I choose to put on display on the bookshelf, also in random areas around my room. Stick around if you're interested to see what other people like to arrange on their shelves, and let's begin. The first shelf has some of my favourite books, also some books that I am yet to read. I have Bluebird which I read and loved. I have two Every Bad Library Edition books, Fyodor Dostoevsky's The Idiot that I'm halfway through and The Count of Monte Cristo that I am yet to read, but I'm very excited to start reading it one of these days. In the back there, I have Thomas Hardy's Under the Greenwood Tree that I'm also halfway through. And then I have my Centerpiece, a book that I love to look at all the time. And it's Shirley. I have read this book two times and I give it five stars both times. Then I have The Book Thief that I love. And then I have two other of my favourite books, The Woodlanders by Thomas Hardy and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I also have The Egoist by George Meredith. I think I have read four or five chapters from. I'm going to continue that too. And then I put this plant because I think it adds a beautiful colour to the shelf. The second shelf has more classics, as most of the books I own and love to put on display are classics. I have here the Penguin English Library Edition. The first is The Warden by Anthony Trollope. It is the first book in the Barchester Chronicles, and I am excited to start this series one day. Then I have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which is one of my favourite books of all times, as is the author, one of my all-time favourite authors. Then I have another beautiful book by Elizabeth Gaskell, North and South. I love this book so much, and I want to read it again one day, hopefully. Then I have A Room with a View by E.M. Forster, a book that I didn't like much. I don't know if I'll ever read another book by the same author. Then there is Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I really like this book as well and despite not liking yellow that much, this cover makes me very happy for some unknown reasons. Lastly, a big book by Elizabeth Gaskell, Wives and Daughters, and sadly saying I did not like this book much. I was disappointed with the second half and it's my least favourite by the author so far. I love these Penguin English Library edition books and I plan to get more books from them in the future. And then there is Christmas Stories by Charles Dickens. I wish I had more beautiful books by Dickens to put on my shelf. Maybe one day. And then I have three books uh, from the Penguin Clothbound edition. The Tenant of Wild Fell Hall by Anne Bronte, Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky and Villette by Charlotte Bronte. In the back there I have a book in Arabic about philosophers, their lives and their philosophy that I'm yet to read. And then I have 100 Years of Solitude by Gabrielle Marquis. I'm also interested to read that book. Then there is Jane Austen, a little pocket book, Mansfield Park. I love the cover of this book. And then I have Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami that I read in Arabic and loved it. I think I'll order more books by him in Arabic as it was very well translated. And then there is this little box that reminds me of Dickens and his stories somehow. That is why I put it beside the Christmas stories. I used to do journaling last year and so I kept some pictures and some other things that I used for journaling in this box.
The third shelf is a bit of a mess of many things. I like this fake flower. It has nice colours in my opinion and also I love this candle but I rarely use it. And then I have my sister's book on my shelf of Emily Dickinson's poetry, the unabridged version. I read some the other day and I think I will need help understanding them. I also have a small camera and my second lens here. And as the colours of this Puffin and Bloom collection were very bright and beautiful, I put them in this shelf. And did I ever mention how beautiful this edition of Little Woman is? I adore it, even if I had some problem with the book itself. I have some more candles here and a small notebook that I used to write on a long time ago. I also have four books from the Puffin Classics editions, White Fang, Huckleberry Fen and the last two books in the Little Women series, Joy's Boys and Little Men, that I am yet to read. I love this cone and it has been with me for a very long time now and I cannot dispense of it. I also got this bookish fan from a friend and I think it's really pretty. I don't know which book it is from though. And on the fourth shelf there are basically two book series and one steampunk themed flying castle. Or that's how I want to call it. I had the most fun time putting this wooden puzzle together about two years ago. It was so detailed and somehow difficult and I think I bruised my hands a little while assembling it but it has since become a very important item in my room that I don't want to be put anywhere else. And then there is Anne of Green Gables series that I waited for near two months for its arrival. I have read the first five books of the series, that's why there are only five on display. And I was very disappointed to discover that the story didn't keep its brilliancy from the fourth book onward. And the fifth book was even boring. I don't know if I'll continue it or not. But the first three books will always be special to me. At the back corner there, I have a long forgotten book, Sea Biscuit, that talks about the true story of a racing horse named Sea Biscuit. I think I have read about 100 pages back when I was in high school. I may continue to read that one day. Then there is the Grisha Verse trilogy by Liba Dugu that I absolutely adore and it's very exciting to know that the Netflix show will soon be airing. I'm a big fan of the Grisha universe and I'm really looking forward to this show. Also these covers are very beautiful and are very cleverly designed. I love Liba Dogo's books, they never disappoint and are rarely predictable, so one is very intrigued to know the ending and how the story will unfold itself. The fifth and the last shelf is home to my stationery slush studying materials. I have some notebooks and a full papers here that I study on, some more notebooks and a collection of pens that I love to keep adding to, some highlighters, some sticky notes and a pencil sharpener. And now to another place where I keep some books in my room and that is on top of my chest of drawers. The highlight object here is this stunning painting of the moon that I bought from a local talented girl. It adds an element of beauty to this side of the room. As for the books, I went and borrowed the Lord of the Rings series from my sister's room and put them in this basket. And truth is, I have not read the series yet, but I want to one day. So maybe putting them somewhere where I can actually see them will help me do that. And because these books are short, I have put them on top of two Virginia Woolf's books to the lighthouse and the waves. I'm sorry to Woolf's fans. And now let's go over to my desk space and see what I have there. It catches beautiful light during sunsets which gives it a cosy and a warm aspect. So here I like to keep my desk clean and clear for studying. 
I didn't want it all crammed up with stuff for easy spreading of studying materials whenever I feel like studying. I have my ophthalmology book here and my laptop. I also like to have my current read placed on the desk for easier access. Right now it's The Wonder, and this is however not my only currently reading book. I can make a whole video about the books that I'm currently reading, and the list is just growing. Then I have my Dickens Corner. Like I said, I don't have many beautiful Dickens books to put on the shelf, so I collected them all here because they make me smile whenever I look at them. I also have Mary Barton by Elizabeth Gaskell that I loved, Silas Marner by George Eliot that I also loved and I reviewed on my last video, and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And on top of them all is my favourite, A Tale of Two Cities. Standing up are also books by Dickens, starting from Little Durat that I got from a friend a long time ago, the Pickwick Papers that I bought for a cheap price a long time ago also, Martin Chuzzlewit that I read and loved, Our Mutual Friend that I can't wait to have an opportunity to start reading, which will also add to my current reading list. And isn't this cover super intriguing? And then there is the mystery of Edwin Drood and lastly, Great Expectations. And lastly, I have this little flower stand that instead I felt of books because why not? And again, some that I have read and some that I want to read, like the one on top, which is also another of my current reads, A Child's History of England by Charles Dickens. It looked really good here, so it's separated from its relatives. Then I have The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. I have not watched the movie or series, I don't know which was it, yet because I wanted to read the book first. And I think it's one of the prettiest books that I own. Then there is Eon and Iona, a series that is similar to Mulan in concept, and one that I loved and would highly recommend to fantasy lovers. I also have two King Arthur related books, Tales from King Arthur, I haven't read and here lies Arthur that I have read half of. Then I have Howl's Moving Castle which is a book I read after watching the movie many times and I still loved it. And lastly are three books, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier which is a book that I read and loved and another of Thomas Hardy's book The Return of the Native which again I loved and last of all is The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope which as you can see haven't been touched in ages. And so these were all the books I have on display around my room. I hope you enjoyed the tour and now that we talked about them it puts me in a mood to sit around and continue and enjoy my book. I advise you to do the same until we meet again.